Hey everybody, so what I want to talk about today is how to figure out why your computer is being slow. I'm going to demonstrate this for you so you can see exactly how to do it. But before I do that, I want to spend just a minute on um, some other information about why your computer is being slow, some important things to keep in mind. Now, one thing I see a lot is people trying to make old computers fast, okay? They, they will sink uh, tons of hours into um, running all kinds of like cleanup utilities, these free software programs that are supposed to make your computer faster. You know, they clean, you know, they look for malware and viruses, and they clean up your registry, all kinds of things. Now, those programs are good. I like those programs, but I don't know that I've ever actually seen those programs make a night and day difference on a computer. The only thing that I've really seen make a huge difference on a computer that has become very, very slow is reinstalling the operating system. Now, sometimes what happens is there's a program or service, something that's just eating up all your, your computer speed. And, and you got to figure out what that is because sometimes there's a problem. Sometimes you can fix that. Okay. So that's what I want to show you how to do today. On a quick side note, if your computer's four or five years old, I really wouldn't spend too much time trying to make it fast again. It's really a great opportunity to sell it or to stop using it and get a new one. Computer technology has, has advanced incredibly in the last few years. Um, the new solid state drives, which is a newer type of hard drive, are very fast. Um, computers now can boot in five to 10 seconds. Applications open the moment you click on them. Everything is extremely fast and it, it's really not worth, I, I think it's not worth your time. I and mean, your time is valuable, right? Your time is the most valuable thing we have. It's the one thing that no matter how smart you are, or how much money you have, you can't get more of. Don't waste your time with Windows taking several minutes to load and everything just taking forever. Okay, just get a new computer, sell out a few bucks, flip your old one on Craigslist, and start saving some time and have a better experience on your computer. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the desktop. I'll show you how to do this. This is Windows 10. It's done very similar on 8, pretty much the same way on 7, although 7 looks a little bit different, and I will explain to you uh, what, what to look for in 7. Okay. All right, so this is my desktop. This is Windows 10. If you're on Windows 10, you recognize this. You probably recognize the background because Windows 10 only comes with about six different backgrounds. Thankfully, they're pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to come down to the bar down here. This is called your task bar, okay? Sometimes people get it confused with the, these icons in the corner. These ones over here, that's called your tray or your tray icons. This down here, this is your task bar. Go ahead and right click on some blank space. If you right click on an icon, it's going to give you options for that program. Click on some blank space and then come up here to task manager, click on it. Okay, you're going to see this screen next. Now, if you've never opened this before, it's probably going to look like this, which isn't going to do you much good. It's just going to show you what programs are running. Click down here on more details. Okay, now this is what you want to look at. Now, what we have here is CPU, which is your processor, your RAM, which is your, oh, sorry, your memory, which is your RAM, your disk, which is your hard drive and network. Okay, so what you will typically see here, if your computer is being really, really slow, is one of these three here, or more than two or all three of them, one of them will be at 100% or will be very close to 100%. Now, if it's at 100%, it will turn red. Okay, so it'll it'll tell you. Now, I, I used a computer earlier today. It's about five years old, and I only turn it on about once a month just to play around with some things. So I turned it on as being very, very slow. I opened this up, and uh, I think it was CPU was at 100%. Now, what I did is I looked at the programs that were open here, and I found and one of them was using up all of it. It said 95% or something close to that. And that told me what it was. Now, it was actually my antivirus, which is very common to eat up all your resources. When a lot of antivirus programs run, it uses a ton of processor power. And if all your processor power is being used for your antivirus, there's none to do anything else. Now, sometimes it'll be you're out of memory. Sometimes it will be that your disk is totally utilized. What you need to do here is find out um, which one of these resources has been totally used up and figure out from over here which application is using it all. Now, without working with you directly, I can't tell you what your problem is, but you can figure it out from here. And a lot of times you can just quit that program or reboot the computer and see if it's still an issue. So that's what you want to look at. I believe in Windows 8, this is the exact same way, but in 7, it doesn't show you disk. 
To see disk, you have to come to the bottom right hand corner here and it says resource monitor. And you'll click there and that's where you can see how much the disk is being utilized. All right, so that's how you find out why your computer is being slow. This is not uh, like a comprehensive or exhaustive look at how to troubleshoot computer speed. There's a lot of other things you could look at, but I'm just trying to help regular people who are at home or school or work or whatever, try to, try to help themselves real quick. Look at your task manager, find out what is using up all your computer speed and try to get that program or service to stop doing that. And uh, that should help you a lot. Again, if your computer's really old, don't waste your time on it. If you can't afford a new computer, that's all good. I totally understand. You know, um, use the one you got as long as you can or go get a Chromebook or something like that. But if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll put uh, a recommendation or two for new laptops down in, um, in, the, in, in the section below. And uh, that'll change over time, of course. But as of right now, as of this recording, there's a, a laptop out there for just over 500 bucks that is incredible for the money. And I've actually consulted a couple of private clients on it and they bought it and they're stoked. So, hey, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I will respond to them.